So hello and welcome. You are on the Erica Glessing Show. And this is Erica Glessing. And this is a fresh Friday release with the fabulous author, Julius Vaughn. I am so joyful to have met this man. He uh, came up maybe playing a little bit of football, had a few uh, downturns in his life and ended up as a full-on inspirational, motivational speaker, author, and gift to the planet. Welcome, Julius. Thank you for having me. How are you Uh, doing? So what made you write the book, Be a Beast at Life? Where did that come from? Um, Honestly, uh, you mentioned before I had a lot of success growing up as a young age. Um, football. Um, I was a in competition for to be a high school American, everything like that. But um, when I got to college, I kind of got hit hard with life um, and ended up down spiraling uh, into like a deep depression. Um, it was not pretty at all. Um, and at that time, at that low point in my life, I had a decision to make that uh, that I was going to stay there. Or I was going to get myself back together. And when I stepped away from football, I really had to figure out uh, who was Julius outside of the game, um, outside of the expectations of my parents, outside of the expectations of the fans of Julius, the football player, who was Julius. And, um, so I really had to figure out who I was and realize that, Hey, life hits like a beast. And when life hits like a beast, you have to be a beast and respond to life. Oh, tell me a little bit about your company instinct. What's that about? Um, it's, it's my brand. Uh, it's like, uh, just a motivational brand. Um, I really want to inspire uh, my, my mentor, someone who I really look up to Will Smith. Um, he always says that when uh, he leaves someone's life, he wants their life to be better because he was here. And that's kind of the same concept. Um, when I speak to someone, whether it's just friends, coworkers, or somebody I just, uh, end up speaking to on the, on the streets. Um, I want their life to be better. I want someone to say, hey, I'm glad I met Julius Vaughn. You know, he really had an impact on my life. And it, it's, it's more of just being a service to people, um, just really trying to pour into people and, and, and help them to make their life better than it was yesterday. So when you wrote the book, Be a Beast at Life, um, what, what was going on with your thoughts of, did you just wake up and say, I'm write a book? No. Um, like I said, it was a process. It really was a process. Um, before the depression in 2008, uh, unfortunately, I almost lost my mother. Um, she had um, caught an infection, and over 95% of her body was filled with poison. The doctors had informed her and uh, my, my father that she wasn't expected to make it. Um, and so he called me. Um, I was actually at school getting ready to start the semester, um, and he called me. I went to the hospital. and. Um, I looked at my mom and looked into her eyes and I saw that this, this infection, 95% of her body filled with poison, wasn't going to be her, um, that she was going to bounce back. So um, seeing that fight in my mom, you know, it, it was it was kind of a, a, a wake up call. Like, hey, I came from that. You know, I have that same fight in me. Um, and again, I just saw how, how destructive the force of life can be when it hits you. And um, watching my mom bounce back from that, that infection that poison filled in, filled in her body. It was really inspiring, really inspirational. And it really, that's what really motivated me to get the message out to everyone. Cause we all get hit with life. I don't care who you are. You all get hit with life. So right. um, I just want to get that message out to everyone that, Hey, you can bounce back for life. I don't care what you're going through. You can bounce back and be a beast at life. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, so what was your favorite book? What is your favorite book? <laughs> My favorite book is The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Um, it's a story about um, a young boy named Santiago uh, who meets an Englishman. And um, he wants to know how to become uh, an alchemist. He wants to learn the art of alchemy. And the alchemy is uh, the art of being able to turn metal into gold. And so he sets on this journey across the desert to meet this alchemist. And he kind of learns uh, the soul of, of the world. He kind of learns how to get in touch with the desert, with nature. And, awesome. Uh, yeah. And then what's your favorite song? when you? Wait, wait, what was your favorite song when you were 16? My favorite song was Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. 
I just couldn't love that song more. It's like half the people on this show are saying these songs I never heard of. And I'm like, oh, really? That was your song in the 80s or something? I'd be like, uh huh. And I like have no clue. And then you're like, man of the mirror. I'm like, oh, I know every lyric. <laughs> like, I'm going to make a change starting now. That's right. Great song. Beautiful song. Whenever I fell down, I actually asked. Sometimes I asked for that those lyrics because it's so inspirational. You're like, oh. I can change, you know, I can change me. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, if you were just starting over fresh right now, or maybe if you were talking to some, say, 17-year-old high school uh, students who are kind of like maybe getting a little bit lost in the big world or, are, you know, they're kind of like trying to figure things out, what would you say? What would you, uh, what would you recommend? Um, I would recommend that they – they look deep inside themselves and figure out what they love to do. Because if you, as you know, when you get a job doing what you love to do, you'll never work a day in your life. Figure out what it is you love to do. And no matter what people say, no matter what obstacles you come up against, uh, strive for it. Keep doing it. Do what you have to do. Figure out what you have to do, whether it's go to school. Um, for me, it was pick up a pencil and paper and start writing. Uh, so, no matter what you're going through, I don't care if you are in poverty. I don't care if you, your mother or your father um, have hundreds of thousands of dollars. No matter where you are, you can get started uh, to making your dream become a reality. So my advice is figure out what you love to do and get started doing it no matter what. Awesome. Thank you so much. Tell our audience where they can find you. Where is a, a best way to catch up with Julius Vaughn? Uh, well, I do have a uh, Facebook page, um, Julius Vaughn, um, and uh, also I have a website, www.instinct52.com. Um, I have Instinct Apparel, and also my book is available there. My book is also available on barnesandnoble.com. Um, electronically, it's available on iBooks, um, The Nook, Amazon Kindle, um, and just anywhere. That's also fav uh, available on Facebook.com. All right. So go out today, people, and you just go be a beast at life. That's great. <laughs> the Erica Glesson Show today was brought to you by proud sponsors, Happy Publishing, and the book Having Ease with Money. Go get this book today and change your life forever. Having Ease with Money is now available on Amazon.